What is radiokeratotomy? This is Dr. Matwani from Cornea Revolution. Radiokeratotomy was the procedure that was done before laser vision correction. It was done 70s, 80s, some 90s, and continued for a while in the 2000s in certain parts of the world. Laser vision correction became available in the United States in 96, in Europe about four or five years for that. But radiokeratotomy physically weakened the cornea. It made radio like wagon wheel like spokes. And the number of spokes was dependent on how much effect you wanted on the cornea. The standard RK was probably eight spokes. So it cut eight incisions that were supposed to be about 90% of the depth of the cornea into the cornea. And these were made by hand. What it did was it collapsed the center to have a treatment for nearsightedness. The problem is every single one of those decisions would have to be the same exact length, the same exact depth, and be placed perfectly in synchrony with the other incisions to have a uniform flattening effect. The chances of that happening with handmade incisions, <laughs> impossible it just never happens sometimes you have one with a little less irregularity but all rks radiokeratotomies are irregular how much irregularity it causes depends on how much vision is lost how much visual distortion there is and also how much in the way of glare night hills and all it is and most of these seem to make the patient hyperopic in other words when you are young and you get this, this cornea is irregular from the moment they put the incisions in. And it seems to be as patients age, they just have a harder and harder time of it, partially because of presbyopia, the lens gets actually harder so it can't accommodate through a hyperopic correction. So radial keratotomy really leaves people with a significant amount of problems and a significant amount of visual issues because you're making an irregular cornea.